today is the day that I'm going to release this word that God gave me maybe a couple of weeks ago. And if I get banned off of Facebook, I will see you on YouTube, Lord willing, but prayerfully, I won't get banned. This is not hate speech, Facebook. God loves everybody. He just does not love sin. So I'm going to read Genesis 2 and 24. Therefore shall a man leave his father and his mother and shall cleave unto his wife and they shall be one flesh. The next scripture comes out of Hebrews 13 and 4. Hebrews 13 and 4. And it says, Marriage is honorable in all, and the bed undefiled, but whoremongers and adulterers God will judge. And then the last scripture that I have for this part is Genesis 5 and 2. Genesis 5 and 2. Hopefully I won't get banned from Facebook, y'all. <laughs> but if I do, just um, add me on YouTube, keep the faith underscore J. I'll be able to post up there. Genesis 5 and 2. Male and female created he them and blessed them and called their name Adam in the day when they were created. So that scripture lets us know that God made two genders. Um, and there's only two genders. So it doesn't matter. Well, it doesn't matter what I think. God doesn't care what the world is saying. There's only two genders. And he wanted me to talk about that. And the other scriptures that I gave were Genesis 2 and 24, Hebrews 13 and 4. Oh, I forgot Mark 10 and 6. Let me go there. Mark 10 and 6. Mark 10 and 6 says, but from the beginning of the creation, God made them male and female. So just another scripture that lets us know what God made. And that's all it is. And another thing, too, that God wanted me to talk about is that, um, and, you know, I, I'll, I'll be honest. I am uncomfortable talking about this, but I have to say what God gives me to say. Um, marriage is beautiful, as you see in the title. And the only people that should be having sex is male and female. And when should they be having sex? When they're married. And y'all, you know, I'm not making this up. God wanted me to talk about this. Good morning. And hopefully I don't get banned. So that was the really the three points that God wanted me to talk about this morning. That marriage is supposed to be between male and female. And when is it supposed to be between them? When they're married. Number three, there's only two genders. And, you know, it's not hate speech. You know, God loves everybody. He just hates sin. And God will send us warning. He will send us, you know, the instructions are in his word because he doesn't want anybody to die in sin. So it's not like God is trying to keep it a secret. Like, oh, you know, I'm just going to let them do this and not tell them the consequences, which let's get into the consequences of any sin. You know, it's not just this sin, but this is what God gave me. Um, you know, I, I talk about what God gives me and this is what, you know, for whatever reason, he wanted me to talk about this on this specific day. First Corinthians 6 and 18. And it says, Flee fornication. Every sin that a man doth doeth is without the body. But he that committeth fornication sinneth against his own body. Then we can go to first go back up to 9 through 11. Know ye not that the unrighteous shall not inherit the kingdom of God. Be not deceived, neither fornicators nor idolaters nor adulterers, nor effeminate, nor abusers of themselves with mankind, nor thieves, nor covetous, nor drunkards, nor revilers, nor extortioners shall inherit the kingdom of God. And such were some of you, but ye are washed, but ye, but ye are sanctified, but ye are justified in the name of the Lord Jesus and by the Spirit of our God. So, you know, oh, that's 1 Corinthians chapter 6, 9 through 18. And that's the thing about it, you know, even some believers, you know, I y'all see my testimony, we, you know, we were in sin and, you know, there were things that God had to cleanse us from. So we're not better than the world. Um, and I love everybody. I really do. And that's why, you know, that's what, well, for one, the number one reason why I do what I do is because God told me to do it. <laughs> okay. And, you know, I just, I love everybody and I want, you know, God loves you too. God loves all of us. And, you know, he did the same thing for me when I was doing wrong. Amen. God instructed Noah to put one male and one female in the ark. Amen. So, you know, um, as far as the animals. And God loves everybody. He doesn't want anybody to go to hell. So that's why he sends warnings. And um, those were the three points. Marriage is supposed, well, sex is supposed to be between a male and a female. When is it supposed to happen? When they're married. Three, um, 
there's only two genders. And some people say, well, you know, why is a, a piece of paper um, going to solidify that I'm, you know, loving somebody or married? So for one, before those um, documentations came in, like maybe like during Bible times where they didn't actually have like paper, or even before that, the accounts that we see in the Bible, marriage is like a covenant. You're coming, you and your partner are like coming into a covenant with God. It's something that's sacred that is sacred marriage is not like something to play with and we are also supposed to abide by the laws of the land so now what we the laws that we have in our land lets us know that we have to have a marriage license so the the mar getting married is not just simply about like oh um let me just sign this piece of paper it's really something serious and it's really deep because marriage is um an an image of christ is christ relationship with the church so marriage is really deep um i think ephesians chapter i don't want to i don't know what chapter it is exactly but ephesians talks about that and some other scriptures in the bible talk about the importance of marriage and it's, it's not just like oh you know it's really deep so that's all god wanted me to share hopefully this video will be able to stay up facebook this is not hate speech god loves everybody he just does not like sin he wants us to depart from our iniquity. So I love you all. Thank you for getting on here. If I get banned, <laughs> just look me up on YouTube. I don't even know if I get banned. I don't even know if I'll be able to get your messages on Messenger. But um, I left my email in the post I posted yesterday. So if you have any prayer requests, you can just hit me up through there. And then if I do get banned, you can also still be on the prayer line. Because, you know, Facebook cannot stop the, the move of God. Love y'all. Be bold. Be blessed.